Hi everybody, today is April 14th, 2013. Thanks to one of my subscribers, they sent me a link about this fire at the Grand Gulf Nuclear Power Plant. Officials say a transformer at the Grand Gulf Nuclear Power Plant near Port Gibson emitted smoke on Sunday, but the reactor was not in danger. Energy Nuclear Spokesman Mike Bowling says the incident was reported shortly after 5.45 p.m. It took them 90 minutes to resolve the problem and no injuries were reported. Grand Gulf officials termed it an unusual event. The lowest of four emergency classifications. Back on April 12th, they had a fire. Evidently, it was inside the A main condenser. Shortly after 6 p.m. local time, a fire was reported at the Grand Gulf Nuclear Power Plant in Mississippi. The event was serious enough that the Mississippi Fire Department was dispatched to combat the fire which was reported inside the A main condenser and the area was evacuated. An unusual event evidently looks like level 4 was declared at 1826 Central Daylight Time due to the fire being in the protected area boundary and not extinguished within 15 minutes after detection goes on to say that the cause of the fire was being investigated and the unit had been on planned refueling outage since February 20th. The other article reads that Grand Gulf has operated since 1985, so it's been over 30 years. Energy Nuclear jointly owns the plant with Energy Arkansas, Louisiana, and New Orleans subsidiaries. And then back on February 21st, 2012, it was reported um, to be shut down after the reactor lost water. Employees at the Grand Gulf Power Plant began reducing power to enter a scheduled refueling outage under unexpected conditions on February 19th. The unit was in the process of shutting down for its 18th refueling outage. The reactor had to be manually scrambled due to lowering reactor water levels in some areas over 35 inches below normal levels. But what caught my eye here is a new turbine rotor and refurbishing main generator were going to be installed. And that caught my eye because of excessive wear that had occurred at the San Onofre um, nuclear power plant there in California. They've had a lot of problems and the people that own this power plant have been trying to cover up some of these problems. And they're supposed to have a meeting about this and the uh, power company tried to block the webcast and then yesterday a judge ruled that the webcast can be aired live. An administrative law judge at the California Public Utilities Commission has reversed course and will allow a video webcast of the hearings about who will pay for the extended shutdown at the San Onofre nuclear plant starting Tuesday. Melanie Darling, the judge overseeing the Utilities Commission investigation, announced the reversal the day after distributing by email a lengthy defense of banning video broadcasts or recordings to ensure the fairness and dignity of the proceedings. But this power plant also had excessive wear to its turbines, which was later found out or speculated or said that they knew that this one part was faulty and yet still put into the power plant. But it's been costing the California taxpayers a lot of money because it's been shut down because of unsafe conditions. All right, well, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.